said it. You just have to believe it. And that's it. Dr. Anthony L. Trice, dedicated to sound teaching, strong training, leadership, and development. Prayers are being answered and testimonies all around the world. Helping change one life at a time. Find out how to be a partner with Anthony Trice Ministerial Network. And thank you for tuning in for today's message. We're talking about false teaching. Leaven is a little beach. And a little leaven, leaven a whole lot. This is like saying a little poison won't kill you. A little poison will kill you.
So you can't just believe everything you see on TV about okay. right. everything you hear. Okay. It's a hidden agenda behind it. It's a moral behind yeah. it. Yeah. And I've never seen so many people with the wrong motive. Yeah. Some folk come to church and they try to get something from God. They ain't giving nothing to God. They want to get something. Yeah. I come to church and I want me a man. You don't get a man, all right? <laughs> Before you get the man, you gonna have some problems. That's how you fuck around here. That's how you fuck around I'm looking for me a wife. You gonna get a wife? If she ain't in love with Jesus, she gonna be a thorn in your flesh. Second Peter, <laughs> two and two, a great fall in the world. It's happened, it's right before I had, you can see it. People are leaving God. They taking a risk with they soul. Don't care what I'm going through, how I feel. I'm holding on to Jesus. Amen. Weak as water, but I'm holding on to the Lord. For giving up. Folk throwing in the towel. Second Peter 2 and 1 read. But there were false prophets also among the people. Everybody that called himself apostle and a prophet ain't, for, ain't real. Amen. I've never seen somebody fuck with titles. Uh, yeah. What's your name? Apostle so and so. <laughs> What's your name? That's <laughs> what you do. Put all the fires out. 
The reason why we got such a mess in our church is because you ain't got no leaders. Amen. Let people with titles. Amen. You don't just let people come in your church pastor and do what they want to do. Have some family running the church. Have some deacon running the church. Sit down. Amen. It ain't the deacon job to run the church. It's the deacon job to serve in the church. Now, now I got to run somebody deacon. I ain't run up by no deacon. Where you get that bad? shall bring in teachings that'll send you straight to hell. Mm. Oh, for Winfrey. There's more than one way to heaven. And over 300,000 people embrace that foolishness. No, there's only one way. Ofer. And Ofer started in the church, by the way. Beyonce started in the church, by the way. Mary J. Black started in the church, by the way. Yeah. Marvin Gates, all these people started in church and got caught up in greed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You look at all these folk that have started in church, they did. Yes. Cut off. You have to be careful when you have influence. Because you can influence people in the wrong way. You know how many followers go from Winfrey got? Now, Washington, she does good for society. We thank you, appreciate that. But that other stuff, you better be careful with that. Talking about you can get to heaven more than one way. Jesus is not the only way. Excuse me, Oprah.
whom the way of truth, watch this, by reason that the way of truth, read, shall be evil spoken of. People think it's evil for us to serve God. And let's deal with this. You giving your money to all that church, to churches. That's one of the things the black Israelites say. You giving your time. Well, black Israelites, how y'all surviving? How can you do anything without money? So they talk against us tired. And people want to hear that because they don't want to do it no way. That's appealing to your flesh. You, you can just come to church when you get ready. You ain't got to live right. It's about your blackness. Your blackness gonna send you to hell. How many gonna say about them blackness? It's about you being right with the Lord. People get deep with that stuff. Start going back to Africa and Put no African suits in. Yeah, yeah. I'm not against it, but I'm just saying, don't worship that stuff. That's all I'm saying. You're so deep in blackness. Y'all know what I'm talking about, tell the truth. I'm of African descent. Are you a child of God? That's it? All right. Jeremiah 11 and 10. Somebody said, great father away. They were falling away from God. Things start happening, circumstances, and they cause you to leave God. How many know we're going to have some problems? How many know it's going to be some suffering? How many know we're going to be tried by our father? This is what happens. When we don't teach people that, and when we don't preach that, as soon as trouble come in your life, you start saying, why me? That's the danger in telling folk what they want to hear. And just, just that's the danger with motivational preaching. We want to motivate you. You got to be more than motivated. <laughs> it's a deeper life that we need to live. Too many people live on the surface. All right, Jeremiah 11 and 10, read. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers. They, the people of God, has turned back to the iniquities of their fathers, uh-huh, which refused to hear my word. They refused, talking about church folk, talking about people that's professing to be saved, they refused to hear my word. But they went after other gods to serve them. But they went after other gods, small g, to serve them. Because these false gods don't require nothing out of you. How could an idol require something out of me? Who got eyes and can't see? Who got feet and can't walk? Who got arms and can't lift up nothing? A dumb idol. You, you, you worshiping the sumo rats. Behold, in other words, I'm getting ready to do something about this. 
Read. I will bring evil upon them. It ain't the devil. I'm going to bring destruction. Since you don't want me in your school, I'm going to allow the school to be tore up. You don't want me in your home, I'm going to allow your house to be a mess. You don't want me in your churches, I'm going to allow your church to be a mess. The reason why we got a mess, because God ain't in your mess. We have a mess on our hands. Folk dying from heaven. Nobody. You let anything go in your home. 
and you bring the mess to church. You got all this mess in the church because you got a lot of mess in your home. And you won't deal with the mess in your home until you bring it to church. Is that it? All right. You ain't got to turn to this. I'm done right here. Oh, another, another point I got. I'll bring it out later. Watch this. John 6 and 66. This is what it says. From that time, many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. Watch this. Look, look at me. Look at me real good. If people left Christ, they'll leave you. And the reason why we lose our mind when somebody leaves us, because we have that person up as a God. Your husband don't want to go to church. Why are you going to the tavern? Because he's your God. Watch this, Matthew 26 and 56. Watch this. But all of this was done that the scriptures of the prophets might be fulfilled. Watch this. Then all of the disciples forsook him and fled. All of Jesus' disciples at one point left him. My point is this. If people will leave you, leave Jesus, leave God, they'll leave you. You love your wife. You love your husband. You love your children. But don't you make them out of an idol. Dr. Anthony L. Trites is determined to take the gospel around the world to a people that are hurting mentally, physically, and financially. Your prosperity is in your seat. God has shown him how to be prosperous, successful, and with integrity. Ecclesiastes 10 and 19, money answered all things. We would like you to partner with us. Help us spread the word of God. Sign up as a monthly partner today and take advantage of this special offer. For a love token of $30 plus shipping and handling, you will receive this prosperity package, which includes your prosperity is in your seat a powerful teaching cd and prosperity oil all partners will receive a monthly cd newsletter and much much more for more information call 314-659-8522 or visit us online at www.anthonytrice.org you can write to us at 7200 west forest st louis missouri 63136 and we thank you for your support Hey, that was a powerful, awesome word from the Lord. I would like to thank you for tuning into our television broadcast on today. We, hey man, God is doing some awesome things here in this ministry. Our members are being delivered, they're being healed, they're experiencing financial breakthrough. And I want you to experience that same anointing that's on this ministry in your life by partnering with me here at Anthony Trice Ministry. You can go to my website at anthonytrice.org and become a monthly partner. God bless you. Thank you for watching today's broadcast. If ever in St. Louis area, please come visit Covenant for Life Christian Center at 7200 West Forreston, St. Louis, Missouri, 63136. Or give us a call at 314-659-8522. For more information on how to get connected, write to us or visit us online at anthonytrice.org. And we thank you for your continued support.